Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this video, we will finish off paper two from the CIE ICT IGCC course, and we are going to be doing presentations. So we are doing a May, June 2021 paper, a variant 22, and paper two is a practical paper, which is two hours and 30 minutes long. If you check out the previous videos, guys, you'll see I've completed the first parts of this paper, and we're now looking at um, presentations. Um, so page 11, task 6, presentation. Okay, you're going to uh, create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed. And slides must be formatted to display a title and a bulleted list. Okay, so before we do anything, um, go into your source folder and actually let's open up a PowerPoint first of all and locate this file first so j2122 rules.rtf so we're going to be using this file here to create a presentation of six slides so can we see this file anywhere it's here so once you've opened up PowerPoint to import this file you need to go to open uh, browse go to your source folder and make sure you select all files to see the RTF file and the file that we need to import is ending in rules.rtf so we can click okay and before we do anything let's save this into our source folder so yeah variant h22 we can keep the same name and we're going to save it as a powerpoint file okay so what we need to do next is to place in your footer your name center number and candidate number so it appears on all slides okay so we can go to slide master and click on the top level slide so any element we create here will be displayed on all slides so here's the footer, but what you need to do, and it's really important, is you need to click on insert header and footer, and you need to tick this box here, which will make the footer appear on each page. If this is not selected, then the footer will not be shown on each page. Okay, so we need to include um, your name. For center number, I will type in 5678, and then candidate number 1234. Click on apply to all, close the slide master, and then what you can do is go to print preview and you can see the name is appearing in the footer on each page. Okay, that's fine. Save the changes. Okay, so question 30. On the slide with the title transition, demote the last three bulleted items so they look like this. So let's go to transition. The last three bullets need to be demoted, so we can just um, indent them by clicking on this icon up here. And then the next thing that we need to do is change uh, the bullet style so it's like a dash. So you come up to the bullet styles here. If you can't see it, you need to click on bullets and numbering. And if you still can't see the dash, you can click on customize and you can select the dash from here. Press OK. Job done. Okay. Right, let's move forward. So change for question 31, change the layout of the slide with the title common penalties to a title and tabled table layout. So common penalties is here. If you go to layout, I don't see title and table, so we'll just stick with title for now. Okay. Uh, what we need to do is to create a table that's going to contain four columns and 13 rows. So to create a table, you can click on insert, table, insert table, four columns and 13 rows. Here's our table. Okay. And uh, what we need to do is we need to copy the data from this file here and place it into the table. So J2122 table. 
uh, which is going to be this file here. You can increase the columns just to have a look at the data. So highlight, right click, copy, and then if you go to your PowerPoint, you can uh, click on the first cell and paste in the data. I'm just going to increase the size um, of this um, table. Uh, let's just make these columns a little bit smaller. Since they only contain X's. Okay, done. Let's save changes on the PowerPoint. Okay, so we've done that now. Now what we need to do is format the table. So it's a plain table style with no cell shading and all internal and external grid lines are displayed when printing. So we need to take out the shading so we can highlight the whole table. Uh, no fill. And external and internal grid lines are showing. Done. Okay, now what we need to do is, to, is we need to insert two new rows as the first two rows of the table and then enter the text and formatted rows one and two of the table so they look like this. So let's insert uh, two new rows. So if you click on a table, right click and insert above two rows. Okay. And then before we enter the text, we need to merge some cells. So this cell looks like it's been merged across two rows. Uh, so we can go to PowerPoint. We can highlight these two cells and we can merge uh, these two cells. And then the top row here looks like it's been merged across as well. Okay. So we can highlight and we can click on merge. Right. The text or before we enter the text, the background color is like a gray and the text color is black. So we can just format the top two rows. So the shading is going to be like a dark gray. And make sure the text color is going to be black. Okay, also before we enter the text, uh, all text looks like it's going to be center aligned. And it's also going to be, also going to be a vertical alignment as well. So if you go to layout and you can click on this one here center vertically as well. Okay so that should mean the text is center aligned horizontally and also vertically. Right so what we need to do is now we need to insert this text. So conduct goes here. Okay type of penalty goes here stop and go here time in this cell here and disqualification in the last cell so guys it's really important you take your time in doing this um, also, I've noticed the text is slightly bigger, uh, bold, compared to what I have here. So let's make the text bold and let's increase the size of the font, maybe up to 14. Okay, so we've done that for five marks actually there. So please take your time, guys, in getting that done right. Adjust the columns. So data in column one is displayed on one line and the table fits on the slide with all data fully visible. Okay, so... In the first column, column one, does it do all all of the text appear in one line? It does. Um, we've got a slight overlap here, so I'm just going to drag from the bottom circle to ensure there's no overlap. Do a little bit again. There we go. Done. Okay, so I think we come to the end. So we need to save this presentation, print all slides in the presentation as handouts. With two slides to the page, each slide filling half the page. And when you print out, make sure your name, center number, and candidate number appears on every page. So let's go ahead and print file, print two slides per page. So you can see your details appear here at the bottom on each page. Yep. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we've come to the end of this paper. So we have completed. 
Paper 2, May, June 2021. I think the PowerPoint task was fairly, fairly straightforward. Obviously, the table is a little bit tricky. But um, hopefully, um, with Paper 2, if you revise um, database, uh, databases, um, this paper should be pretty straightforward and predictable every year. So every year, it looks like it's pretty much the same thing. Slight differences in the database task, but the PowerPoint mail merge document production should be um, good if you spend the time to revise and hopefully these videos are useful as well to you okay guys please drop your comments below like share and subscribe and good luck in your exams thank you for watching my videos take care bye bye